And there are some other areas of the decarbonisation summit that are not certainly not core business areas for SSE, but I think are really important areas to address in terms of decarbonisation, like active travel, for example, yeah. more cycling, more more scooters, more, yeah. more walking. So although there's probably not the biggest business case for shoe leather in the SSE world, it's still a really important yeah, area to address. And totally. Uh, look, we, we are about doing the right thing. Uh, it's not just about energy for us. It's about the whole sustainability those ESG uh, qualities, you know, we, we, ha we have to earn the right to provide the energy that's required for the UK. And so it's definitely not just about, you know, putting large assets in the ground and connectivity. That's why part of distributed energy is providing those solutions to end user customers and the, and, and the domestic market at times, whether that's through the decarbonisation heat, decarbonisation of transport. And that is just not through an asset deployment. It's by engagement with the community what is important to that community to help them on their own journey to decarbonisation as well. In terms of importance to communities, we are obviously based in Greater Manchester, which is yep. great being based in Greater Manchester. I'm personally excited to be going back to a town that I used to live in. It's full of literally energy, both in terms of renewable energy and the energy of the people up there. Um, there's a panel looking at jobs, skills and innovation, obviously a key sector. I know Andy Burnham has talked about um, he has this idea of north shoring, you know, companies mm. moving their businesses and their employment opportunities to the north. Is this something of interest to SSE? Well, it certainly is. We've actually got an office in Manchester and we've got one in Altrincham. Um, and developing the skills that are required to deploy net zero is really important. You would have seen an announcement from SSE as a whole that we're looking to uh, invest over a thousand jobs every year uh, in the, the renewables and, and the, the road to, to net zero. Um, and so, you know, apprentices uh, and, um, and and those trades that can support uh, from a bottom upwards approach to deployment and net zero is important to SSE and also important to me. Uh, also, another way that we're actually engaged with um, the Great Manchester Authority and, and Andy himself is the Energy Innovation Agency, which I'm actually a board member on. And that's all about actually how do you get Manchester to where it needs to be, the Greater Manchester Authority to where it needs to be? What innovations, how can you open up those doors to people who've got the thoughts and the ideas to really gain traction on those, those um, solutions that will make a difference, maybe not next year, but over the next 5, 10, 15 years? I think there's some work for us all to do to communicate to people that green is about opportunity, that there are real opportunities here and perhaps there's uh, some valuable education work that will hopefully flow from the decarbonisation summit around Manchester and other areas that we're engaging with. Yeah, see, and, and I think that you know, one of the great things about this year's decarbonisation summit is that, that ability to network. Because what that networking does, it allows that collaboration, it allows that listening, it opens up people's voices, gives them, a, a, gives them along with the panels, but the events that we have in and around the decarbonisation summit, it allows them to really provide that voice for people to listen. And if you listen, you then start collaborating. And if you collaborate, there's amazing things that we can do, whether it's from, from uh, introducing new jobs into, uh, into a particular marketplace, or it's investment, or it's technical, or it's you know, the educational pieces. One of the areas that, that we think is really important is that when you're deploying either large assets or even our hubs, how can you make that an educational opportunity for the um, uh, for, for, you know for the for, for the children of today to learn about what renewables is and what the road to net zero mm. is so we're looking for those educational touch points as well <laughs>